Brother to brother, brother to brother, brother to brother, the angle is on me. Brother to brother, brother to brother, 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 the gambit on me, the change is on me, the angle is on me, the two to land me. thought it's something okay to just call out a girl and say hey hi you look beautiful without their consent the gender based violence is still square new. It didn't matter. But then in Yamara, the Tamilian can't run away from people as soon as I get. I'm in Pam, as soon as all Panga or police guard in Sigan. When you talk to Ganisan Gadimina, Gust is a deserting Zedimiz. But after unraveling some of these things, I started to realize that these things are actually very problematic and that the different perspectives perspectives of what it means to be a man also get to differ in people. So before B2B I think I was I was very unaware of these things that are actually crucial in our everyday lives. Workshops. We are trying to explore issues of gender inequalities. What us we think about the masculinities, gender inequalities, and the like. And I remember the very first workshop. We had some games where there were name games where we got to know each other in the group and got to know ways of how to trust each other, work with each other. And as we kept going in the workshops, we started now discussing different issues on. First, what it means to be a man, and these issues were addressed from individuals. You know, we could give out ideas which we thought were really good or critical to us, but then when we went far and started exploring, tried to look in different angles, we found out that uh, some of those ideas which we had were toxic and uh, we were supposed to be eliminated. Girls like different things, so some people are into that kind of thing. Some people are into like always being with the boyfriend, always being in pictures, blah, blah, blah. Some people are into that. And some people like that um, makes them feel awkward. Some people that are not, they can love you just as much as the other girl loves you, but then that's not the thing. So you, when, you're, when you've made a decision to do someone, that means you know, yeah, you have to be able to learn how to love them or learn how to treat them, learn how to be with them. At the end of the day, I still get to look back, could he focus them, why not? You know, because if anything would happen, I would stand and say, would he, okay, let me take, I would say honestly, I would say let me take responsibility because one, as much as it's the responsibility for the both of you to address using a condom, but then it starts with you. And through this we started to understand the different perspectives people get to have in their growth and we realized that most of these perspectives come about because of the different societies we've grown up in and the different things we've been exposed to in our day-to-day -day lives. Now after these, uh, after these findings we would come together and make some plays and do some images portraying these different understandings of these perspectives people had. And in the same, we had discussions on gender-based violence, sexual harassment, all these things came together as one into formulating things that we can bring out to the public. So, uh, in the workshops then we started devising some plays and some game shows which we brought out to secondary schools. Uh, as we were going there, we, we didn't have the answers to whatever we made and all that. We had our own ideas, but then what we wanted is to 
have even more ideas from uh, different people. So we took them there to now start understanding the different perspectives of what it means to be a man at their age and in also their settings. We came up with three films and a documentary made by the Brother to Brother group and we took these films and the documentary to colleges so we get to understand what they have. Now because we had different issues that were being addressed in these films, people there in colleges were also responding differently based on these issues that we, what, that we had in the films. <laughs> We need mindset change. We have a boy. I mean, if a girl says no, it does not necessarily mean we hear a girl she's saying no. I do have a girl. I mean, I don't really have to say yes because I need to know. Yeah, my mother will interpret when I want to plan on yes. The final thing that we did 
was club trainings, which was associated with uh, radio programs. And the radio program was something that we thought the kids would like and would have comments on after listening. And I took part two in the radio program. And another exciting part for me was that, you know, I can get to hear myself on the radio now, or the kids can get to hear my role in this radio play. So we did that radio play with a couple of episodes and uh, had the, we had the club trainings where the kids are going to now start having the same processes that we had into combating all these issues and what it means to be a man and also comment on this radio play so that we get to hear their views on these different issues that were raised in the radio program. <laughs> For example, I game shows, so I am training I am I am I am a 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 I I am a the coming in of the girls was actually very great because uh, at first we were just discussing boy to boy or brother to brother but in this sense when they came in it was more like brother to sister and sister to brother because now we started understanding their perspectives on the same things that we talked about and they went through almost the same processes that we had uh, the introductory process and uh, devising some ideas on what they now understand by what it means to be a woman or to them what it means to be a man because we were only talking from one side of the story but we couldn't tell what the other side was <laughs> like I'm asking that I want you to be like this, I want you to be like that, so I guess. You know, I feel like if you guys are ready to be in a relationship, they would be, you're ready to be committed to each other. That means you are accepting that person the way he is, the way she is. I'm a very innocent dream, like he goes like, and then he will be portraying his new, his little characters And uh, we did the uh, a play with them which we took out to secondary schools the very same schools that we went to we now brought in this one play to them which addressed different issues now on uh, from the girls side and the boys side and these kids were actually now interacting more and we could tell that now even girls were interacting more because in the first schools that we went to in the first phase of brother to brother we only had boys talking more because mostly we were meeting the boys but when we start work, when we started working with the girls and we started meeting the girls we actually started to understand more and more and we could see in their groups that they could actually uh, associate more and actually tackle these different issues and try to understand each other more Because we have taken a lot of lessons that can help us to deal with some challenges or predicaments. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, uh, we, we, I thought personally that, you know, brother to brother is just going to have these short films and it's just going to have these plays, but now we came with the time where we discussed and came to say we're going to have an album and that part was very exciting for me because I as an artist I found that as a great opportunity to use my expressions the way I rap in my music to actually reach out to the people so uh, the album's titled Mamuna Wangbiro and the album title itself I found it very catchy and very impacting to actually have something like that that can address all these issues that we're talking about and those people who love music just as myself would also reach and listen to that all right the first thing is the outreach like you know i always say getting involved with other young people it was very interesting and the second thing like how we developed the art the techniques we used yeah one thing that stood out very much was when the girls joined the group and when we had our first conversations about what um, the other gender thinks about the other gender it was a very important process for me because I confirmed some things and I I had to cancel out some things me interacting with different people uh, from different secondary schools, colleges I have passion for art so in, it was a creative program, a creativity program for those issues. I learned many techniques in which I can develop an art form, like the praise, songs. But I can't point out to say that this was the, ex the coolest moment I had, but every moment with Brother to Brother has been great, and it's been a great experience for really. Because of this project, I've learned to take care of my subsection. I know that I can't be risking my life out there, um, say, having unprotected sex. I was in the church for you know, to guns and more positive. Good alliance, and I was going to see the good win. I was going to go to the one cast of our moon. Commas on the my sets are good here and Zangaena. I mean, the Gugan is a war, Wuli Kwanga, the Wai Nebaga, and Little Waposita. I feel like I'm an activist now. <laughs> the impact has already started for me because. Now it's something that I hold on as uh, who I am, as a part of who I am, as a person who is going to be advocating for, you know, equal rights, as a person who is going to be fighting against gender-based violence, because all these things are things that we've learned in Brother to Brother, and these are things that our societies are living with. And some of these things are things we have to take out, and the only way to do that is to have more people, like those people who have grown in Brother to Brother, and more people who can actually listen to these things and be able to combat these issues we face in our society. Thank you.